Hey, hey everybody, welcome to Essential Oils Training with Melody Watts, Healthy and Wise with Melody Watts, Essential Oil Protocols That Work. I am super excited to talk to you guys today about beauty regimens and using essential oils. So I'm actually gonna take you guys up to my bathroom and I'm gonna show you guys some really, really cool ways that I use essential oils for my skincare regimen. So the reason why I love this, first of all, is because I don't think people realize how much money you can actually save using essential oils. So um, you're going to see how cool this is, first of all, and how much more potent it is than buying expensive stuff online. So my husband is taking a nap. <laughs> I think oil and I'll just add a little bit of salt in there. So literally I'll take melaleuca, salt, coconut oil, and um, just scrub and make like a scrub and it gets my blemishes. And so if I was going for a blemish, I would use melaleuca or maybe even rose. But if I was going for wrinkles, I might use like a geranium, a frankincense or a ylang ylang. Now what's interesting about frankincense is that frankincense is in all the expensive skin care, care creams. And people will, like if you ever see it say Boswella extract, it's like the wrinkle miracle. Um, this is actually something that um, people will use in, you guys missed, yeah, I got cut off, sorry. But the frankincense um, is something that's used in a lot of expensive skincare creams. Cream. So even though frankincense is $69, um, if you're just using a couple of drops, it's actually cheaper than buying an expensive cream that has mostly garbage in it, only a few drops of essential oil or boswella extract or frankincense. So it's actually way cheaper just to use a couple of your own drops of frankincense. You're getting full strength and using it with like your coconut oil if you're wanting to do um, really, really moisturized. But what's really great about frankincense, especially around the eyes, is it helps a lot with um, wrinkles and blemishes and things like that. So um, really, really good for the skin and regenerating. So, uh, so I also will use this on skin tags. So this is great for skin tags and any sort of discoloration or, um, just bumps or even like moles that you don't like. Frankincense is so, so good for that. Instead of using, like I said, an expensive cream with frankincense in it or Boswella extract in it, you can just use your straight frankincense and get a way better result. You're also getting a pure oil because most of these skin creams aren't using doTERRA oils. And so you don't know what kind of quality oil that you're even getting. And so using an essential oil, like I said, so much cheaper. So if I use a little bit of essential oil with coconut oil or pure olive oil, such higher quality than an expensive skincare cream. And then if you want a little more moisturiz moisturization, you can add some shea butter to it. And that will also really, really moisturize. And that would be like a night cream. So I might take some frankincense with maybe some rose if I have a lot of blemishes. Maybe if I'm dealing with some eruptions, I can use a little rose, melaleuca, and frankincense and really rub that. I have a friend of mine that um, she had some skin tags that she just could not get rid of. And what ended up get rid of, getting rid of the skin tags was Copaiba. And so she started using it on the bumps on her skin. And it was really, really um, helpful. And Copaiba is a little thicker. Now, my absolute favorite for wrinkles is, I have to tell you, Hawaiian sandalwood. And I actually got this little pump to put on mine because it's kind of a thicker oil. And so this is what I actually use on my blemishes um, and wrinkles. I would say this is my favorite for blemishes and wrinkles. So I'll just use that Hawaiian um, sandalwood for blemishes and wrinkles. And sometimes I'll use like a little sonic ultrasound on my skin to help with collagen production. And Hawaiian sandalwood is what I'll use for that. Another thing that I love to use is castor oil. So I'll take a little organic castor oil that's hexane free and use it on my lashes, use it on my brows. And if I'm wanting to like grow my lashes out, I might add a little rosemary and lavender to it, which is really great for hair growth. And so I'll use a little bit of that around um, with my castor oil, okay? Another thing that I love to use essential oils for is toning. So if I feel like, um, I need a little bit of a toner. I will actually use like witch hazel with um, like a ylang ylang or um, a geranium or 
Um, something that is really good for the skin also is jasmine and neroli. So I might put a little bit of that and then spray or rub it in and that will kind of tone it without using like a harsh alcohol. Um, so you can make like a little beauty spray with rose and witch hazel, like a little setting spray. And again, so much cheaper than buying a setting spray. Now it's funny because when, like, when I go look at ingredients now, I'm like, like, oh, this setting spray for my face is $20. And I'll look at it and it's like essential oils, water and witch hazel and alcohol. And I'm like, oh, I can make that at home for like 20 cents and it's gonna be higher quality, alcohol free. It's gonna work way better. So I have just found is super high quality. Um, they've got serum and they've got toner. So something that they'll use and this one smells amazing. And it has, um, I'll just tell you, ylang ylang, palmarosa, cypress, which is really good for swelling. Let's talk about that. Um, and coriander seed. So this one smells amazing, but it also has witch hazel in it. This is like their really clean line, their barrage. So you just kind of spray the toner on like that. And I love it. It smells amazing. Okay. And then they also have a serum. I use their Immortel serum, which is really great as well. Um, but you can make your own serums. So um, another thing that I'll use for wrinkles and just aging is the yarrow palm. This stuff is like so, so delicious on your skin. It's so hydrating. So I'll actually take its blue. So that shimazzling, if you can kind of see that, that yarrow, the chemical constituent that makes it that color is the shimazzling. It's also found in blue tansy. Um, but that right there, you can use it on your skin. I'll just show you kind of how to use it. I'll use it everywhere. It just really hydrates it. Now, most yarrow palm, you can't get the yarrow palm, the yarrow to stay stable. And so what doTERRA has done is they've created a patented, um, uh, adding the, adding the pomegranate. And what it's done is it's stabilized the yarrow palm molecule. Now I'm almost 42. So I do have some wrinkles, but I've never had any type of plastic surgery. I've never done any type of filler or anything like that. And, and it runs in my family to have dark circles. So if I could have shown you what my skin looked like before, like maybe you're not that impressed because I don't look 20, but, um, <laughs> but I'll just tell you, it's really common for me to have dark circles and wrinkles. And so something that can help with the dark circles is cypress, which I wonder if I have, this is in my bathroom. I have a little oil, it needs to probably be restocked. But um, the cypress is really good for under the eyes because it can just help with the puffy and the swelling. And so instead of getting like an expensive eye cream, just layer that right onto your yarrow palm. It smells amazing. And that's gonna help with swelling and things like that. Hawaiian sandalwood is also really good for that. So I love that. Another thing that's really good for like moving the lymphatics and getting swelling down is gonna be like marjoram. So I love to use marjoram essential oil. I also will clean my makeup stuff by like running this under the water. Cause I know sometimes I went through a period where I had some um, blemishes and I feel like I probably needed to clean these a little bit more. And so I just rinse this real quick and I'll just put a little drop of melaleuca on it to keep it clean when I'm when I'm blending my makeup right so I know I'm looking a little dewy now because I put the um yarrow palm on but I love using the yarrow palm at night and then they also have a body serum that is so hydrating and this is really good for breast tissue as well as vaginal tissue at, at tightening your skin so I love using this on my degoutte right in this area so I'll just put on that, this nice yarrow palm serum. It's not meant for the face, but it's meant for the body. And you can use it on your breasts. And then this is something I do every night for my breast tissue is DDR Prime. So I'll actually take the yarrow palm serum, a little castor oil, and I'll take this DDR Prime with neroli because neroli is so good for hormones and breast tissue. And if my boob, my breasts are feeling tender, I'll add Clary Calm, which is for hormones. So it has like geranium, ylang ylang, and it just like melts that tenderness away, that hormonal tenderness. And so I'll just do a little yarrow palm or castor oil or both. I'll do the DDR Prime because this one is so good for healthy breast tissue and healthy breast cells. And then the Neroli is also good for healthy breast tissue and healthy cells, um, just keeping them soft and supple and feeling not so like 
lumpy, right? It just kind of helps. And then pink pepper is another really great one for healthy breast tissue. So keep those three in mind, DDR Prime, pink pepper, neroli, so incredible for healthy breast tissue, healthy breast cellular response. And I just do it when I get out of the bath every night um, to keep um, that area really functioning well. And then if I am feeling tenderness, I'll either use clary calm or I'll grab some clary sage or some um, geranium, some ylang ylang, all those oils are found in the clary calm. So really great ones. Um, now let's talk a little bit vaginal hygiene for you ladies out there. I think I mostly have female followers. Um, but one of my favorite things to use to, for feminine hygiene is melaleuca. And so just grabbing, it just helps um, keep you feeling fresh and it can help with any kind of, um, you know, vaginal discomfort or burning or anything like that. And so just keeping a Melaleuca touch in the bathroom um, that you can work with um, using that in the vaginal area with coconut oil is really, really soothing. And so let's see, we've got a question here. Miss the part about blemishes. So I do use sea salt with like, if I have really bad blemishes, I'll use sea salt and coconut oil and I'll just rub it with my favorite oil of choice for blemishes that can help with some of those skin threats. So I'll use Melaleuca or I'll use Rose. Melaleuca is a lot less expensive than Rose, but Rose is really good for that Hawaiian sandalwood is really good if I'm on a budget, I'll use Melaleuca. Um, geranium is like poor man's rose. That one's really going to be great for, um, well, I just use a few, a few drops. So if I'm making my own mixture, I might do 15 drops in like a two ounce jar of coconut oil and salt. And so, um, and I might mix, like, I love using citrus oils, but I use them at night because citrus oils are photosensitive. Um, so these, these are my beauty regimens and I'll just tell you guys, I don't have any like expensive, um, creams. I have the doTERRA um, beautiful body spray. Cause I love to put a carrier oil on. Um, cause a lot of times at night I'll use oils over my adrenals. Um, you'll see, I've got the doTERRA, um, toothpaste in there. You can even make like a probiotic. So if you're feeling like your blemishes aren't clearing up, you might need to change the pH on your skin. So using a little bit of a probiotic, like you can clip open doTERRA's PB assist, mix that with some olive oil and just get those, that good bacteria on your skin and on your eyelashes and everywhere. Those probiotics can be really helpful, especially if you've been harsh on your skin or ruined the pH. Um, another thing that I like to buy, this is by Ordinary. This is like really cheap. Um, I got this at Ulta and it's just hyaluronic acid. Just straight that. And so, and it has B vitamins in it. So I like to just take this and maybe sometimes a vitamin C serum. These are like $6. And the reason why they're so cheap is because they're just like one or two ingredients. And so I mix that sometimes with essential oils. And then sometimes I make a mineral spray. I'll use like liquid minerals. And um, this can help with the pH too, because um, I've been dealing with some blemishes and I'll just kind of spray um, the minerals on my face. And so you don't have to buy expensive creams um, to get the result that you want, because I actually think these are way more potent. It's way cheaper. Another thing is we, doTERRA does have, HD clear, and this is specifically made for blemishes. So let's see if you can read that HD clear. And so I love that one as well for blemishes. Oh, one more thing that I love for the beauty regimen is I like to put oils over my thyroid. So I like Clary Calm and I like DDR Prime and I like Zendocrin over the throat is super helpful. And um, sometimes I'll use, if I feel like I've been in front of a screen too long, or talking too much and my throat chakra feels like it's kind of blown, I'll use Roman chamomile and vetiver to just calm down that throat chakra. So I've been working all day or in front of the screen all day. It's just a great way to get, to get that, that going. The other thing that I do is I will take grapefruit um, when I get out of the shower and I'll take my castor oil and I'll do the grapefruit over my thighs with some castor oil at night before I go to bed because it's great for the lumps and the bumps um, and just detoxing those fat cells. Um, oh, and then one other thing that I love to do, I do love the doTERRA shampoo and conditioner, but if I haven't washed my hair in a few days, and I actually did a really bad job of this today because, <laughs> because I forgot to make my own dry shampoo, but usually I make my own dry shampoo and you can really tell when I brush it, but, um, I, I have a really greasy hair. That's just like my Italian heritage. And so one day without washing my hair looks really greasy. So right now you can kind of see the powder. Cause I, I didn't, um, darken it with, I usually darken it with cocoa powder. But today I just used like straight, um, like a, I use a volcanic clay, clay, 
and I just pour it in and usually I mix it with some cocoa powder. And then maybe like, if I'm, if I feel like I'm losing hair, cause sometimes I have thyroid issues, I'll add some rosemary to it and sometimes some cedar wood and lavender. And I put it in like a little spice jar, a little spice jar and I sprinkle it on my head. I'm out right now. So I just use my volcanic powder. Um, and so you can use bentonite clay. You can use any kind of clay really that you want, arrowroot powder. So this is just a blend of bentonite clay, arrowroot, and um, like, but that's basically it. Yeah, that's it. And so I just use that for my powder and it actually feels like the clay like detoxes my scalp a little bit. And like I said, it looks a little weird right now because I didn't use my cocoa powder, but when you use the cocoa powder, it really darkens it and it doesn't look like, it doesn't look bad. But I feel like clay is really good for the scalp because it detoxes some of the toxins that might be in there. Oh yeah, and you can use baking soda too if you want, uh, baking powder. I like, um, I like air root powder and cocoa powder. That's what I always do. And then I add a little clay just for extra drying and, and texture. Sometimes I do it to give myself some texture, but I can tell you this, my, my beauty regimen is so cheap compared to what so many ladies are spending on their skin. Another thing that I do take for my skin is the Yarrow Palm supplement um, because it's got some really amazing anti-aging properties in it like Dismutase, which is just an incredible antioxidant and detoxifier, celery seed oil, Palm Rosa, frankincense resin oil. It's got zinc, it's got vitamin C. So there's some just incredible things in here that are good for the skin and aging. It also has Melissa in it. And Melissa is great for serotonin. Yarrow it has in it and Yarrow is great for dopamine. So like, this is like your happy, healthy use, you know, to help with your skin complex. So that is, that's basically it, you guys. That is my beauty regimen. Did, if anyone wants to post in here, um, any questions they might have? I always usually apply with, um, I always usually apply with a carrier oil. This pump, I'll be honest, I got it at convention, these little things. I think it's from oil sharing tools, the pumps, but I love it because that Hawaiian sandalwood can take a long time to come out. Cedar wood's great for skin, for calming down skin. I remember one time my girlfriend had really red skin and she was using melaleuca and I was like, let's change that up. And we used lavender and vetiver and it just took the, took it down. The next day she woke up and she was like feeling way better. So um, yeah, that's about it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining in today. Sorry, the beginning was a little bit rough. Um, also you guys think about this. If you do struggle with blemishes using the doTERRA Terrazyme and the doTERRA, um, PB assist and the Zendocrine complex can really help with your beauty regimen. So this is for like the anti-aging antioxidants, free radical damage from the inside out, and then taking a really good digestive supplement like Terrazyme PB assist and things like that. Um, and then sometimes I'll put a little drop of lavender or rosemary in my mascara um, I use pure and just, it just kind of helps lengthen those lashes. And so I do love that as well. Um, I clean all my brushes with the doTERRA shampoo. Um, but I think that's, I think I pretty much covered it all. Discolorization, I really like copaiba and frankincense. And then also you can use lemon at night, lemon essential oil. And, you know, compared to some of the lightning creams they have on the market these days, it's like, I mean it's like so much cheaper and more effective and more potent because they're using generally, they're not using 95% of essential oils are fake anyway. So anytime I go to the store, I can smell that their skin products have synthetic essential oils or cheap essential oils. Cause I'm just like a human lie detector test because of my multiple chemical sensitivity. Um, I don't do anything with glycolic acid. Um, good question. But that, you know, if that's something you want to add in or salicylic acid, you know, you can do that. Like I said, I like this brand, The Ordinary, because you can just get one specific ingredient or like a vitamin C or a vitamin B or whatever um, to add to that. And just, just get creative and see what works with your skin. Because um, honestly, all these companies are doing is they're just taking all these ingredients like witch hazel and alcohol and castor oil and you know, sunflower seed oil and olive oil, they're just putting it all together and adding a few cheap essential oils. Like that's what they're doing. Um, and, and to me, 
I'm just like, why do that when you can use doTERRA on your skin for one tenth the price, use a drop or two, mix it with a carrier oil and your skin's going to look better. You know, knowing what oils get the swelling down, knowing what oils, um, you know, are going to, are going to help with circulation, um, with dark circles, things like that. So thank you guys so much for being on. That was such a fun, fun training. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next week.